Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Timberweed Park and on the last episode, I actually accidentally gotten Agent Ray knocked out behind some dumpsters. So I resurrected her and here she is. Look at speck of dust. It's a speck of dust. Shall we pick it up? I'm not going there anymore. That got me in trouble. Let's go to B Street first. Oh, dumpster. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Oh, blow out puppy sill. The pet store is for rent. Guess no one around here has any pets. Aww. Cake! I like cake. Looks like they're open. Let's go in. Wait. Where's the cake? Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? I have it written down. I have it written down somewhere. Oops. Um. Okay, I don't remember. I'm just gonna guess. And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes? Yeah, I remember it. Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Oh my. <laughs> Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. Let's talk to her. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose. I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter or one of those mean city folks passing through. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. YouTube. I like that reference. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold the few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. What does ozone smell like, actually? <laughs> What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. 
I think it's just the boost the town needs. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure, but it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. She seems nice, but a little weird since she's so energetic about everything. I'm not sure what to feel about her. But she does have a nice voice, so... It's out of order. Oh. Bunny salon. <laughs> Hair today, gone tomorrow. That's so sad. Nothing in there but dust bunnies. Dust bunnies. Whoa. Arc Arcade? The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Fets out now. No one is in there. Well, there's someone here. Oh, that's the clown, right? That ransom the clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Eats tuna? Let's talk to her. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie, yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A hooker, like her sister? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Oh, new character. Dolores. List of important things. Find the ideal job, check the mailbox for my computer magazine, and escape from Timberweed Park. Okay. What's this? Timberweed Pie? No, Timberberry Pie. Ricky Lee's famous Thimbleberry Pie. Hot from the oven. Can we eat? This must be where pies go when they die. Can we eat it? I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. Okay. We're supposed to get our magazine, right? I don't think we can go by there, so... 
do. Meow. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It makes me question how many workers are actually working in this government sector of this little town of 80 because there's only one coroner and one <laughs> sheriff who looks pretty much the same, maybe they're twins and you have pretty much every single business collapsing on itself everything from cakes to pet stores to salons, watch shops I can see why watch shops actually collapse if the technology was that good in that particular county then maybe that would explain why that kind of shop actually cannot hold business but why would something as simple as a bakery which I guess most people get like bread every day why would why would it not do well unless unless the food was really that bad it's bite me world the best computer magazine ever so you have what it takes to become a highly paid game programmer? Mucus Flam Games, the maker of hit games Tree Lines of Haze and Behind Jiggy Lines, is looking for qualified applications. Just complete and mail in this comprehensive programming test and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucus let mucus let game programmer. Imagine the perks, long hours, non-diet soda and pizza, work out with weight, work with people who don't want to get to know you either, out of date arcade machines in the rec area, watch your parents' company profits grow. Apply today, use the computer to connect with Mucus Flam to apply. Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Flam Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply! Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Digging in the front green! Digging in the front green! Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel! Ha! I'll lick to hook them holes! Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Ha! I'll lick to hook them holes! I'm not sure what he's doing. Hopefully he's not bearing a body. Mucus Flam is probably a play on the developer's company. Anyways, dial in with modem, 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 and fill out Mucus Flam job application, mail filled up job application, get a job, and escape. Oh! Can we... It's closed. Cool. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. I want that. Can I take it? Thank you. And uh, there's nothing inside. Wait, there's there was the doorbell, right? Was it me or was there a doorbell? Yeah. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Thank you. Pass Uncle Chuck his letter. As I was... Uh, I'm back to the kitchen. Anything else? There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. 
Ooh. Okay, can we get it? What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Can I pick it up? Carefully handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra Online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Well, enough plugging. I don't think I need that. <laughs> Hot sauce. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Ooh. Maybe I should be careful with this. Someone ought to clean up that ketchup spill. Cheese? Looks good I enough like for cheese. a snack. Ooh, can we fill our cup? The glass is now filled with water. Yay. I'm not sure what I want to do with this. It says out of order. How can the stairs be out of order? Hmm. Let's find Uncle Lucas. Wait, no. Wait, wait, what? I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers! Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my point eight millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. I sort of feel bad for him. Can we talk to him first? Hello, my favorite niece. Let's give him the letter. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. Aww. I think she doesn't have the heart to tell him. Ooh, stuff. Is that ink? Can we pick it up? Check register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. Er, uh, we are supposed to sign up for our job, so... Let's... Use? I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting! I can't believe my computer is connected to Mucus Phlegm! Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Dolores? Thank you. What is your address? Oh no. Uh. Damn. I'm gonna guess this one. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. All of the verbs? 
Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? What? Uh... It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. Tough question. Let's go, go to the library. Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Terrible argument. Oh my, that dad? Aww, are you okay? Let's tell him that we like the idea. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. You need more confidence, and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Wait, where is Tree Point? Looks pretty spirally. The sign says it's out of order. Why is it out of order? Do we need to talk to Uncle? Because Tree Point 1 is not... It's on level 3, so... Hmm. It's very dry firewood. The sign says it's out of order. Can I pick up the sign and then... No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Oh my god. So, that was how I was supposed to solve it. Okay, okay. I might have spent a little too long. Let's look at the paintings. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. I see, okay. Let's look for the book. 3.1. Hmm. So we have a lot of books. Oh, I found it. Compiled scripts. MFL. Encoded using XOR. 8 actors. Compressed into correct sets. 8 pixels, 256 sounds, MFL. Okay. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, what type of files are compiled scripts packed into? MFL? Next question. What kind of multitasking does mucus use? Cooperative. Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? Eight. I think it's eight. Next question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... Eight pixels. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Sweet! Wait, what? Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Well... There! The blank paper is back in the Printron 3. It's an empty bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink. I see some black powder around the edges, and it smells awful. Warning, contents highly flammable. Can I make my own This isn't ink? a water-based ink, not with that smell. And I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. Fine, stop shaming me. How about <laughs> tomato? I think I'll just be careful with them. 
That's good enough for now. Take that, see Ooh, what? Wow! <laughs> okay. Do you think I could use this firewood and burn ink? Yeah. I actually set it on fire with my breath. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. Pretty sure you can just Hello, my favorite niece. Use the soot to print. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons. I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Just get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. What? Nothing. I don't see anything. Wait, Dig it? wait, what? What gas the can? Ink is now full of black ink. Oh my god. Let's go. Yes, we have done it. Let's use the ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Finally. <laughs> I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. Stamp the envelope? I don't see any stamps. Do you think Uncle will have any? It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. The envelope is addressed. Just needs a stamp. The application is all filled out. Just have to send it in. Uncle, I need a stamp. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. Can I steal his stamp from his letter? <laughs> I have to find a safe way to remove the stamps. Uncle... I think water. Water will do just fine. That will just make the letter soggy. What? I think we should solve this sticky puzzle in the next one. And yes, I did try to make a pun, but it wasn't that good. I think it's time to end it for now and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Timberweed Park and see you in the next one. Bye!